Georgi, as we um, clearly see, listening to the uh, CEO mm -hmm. of the systemic bank, two main emphasis. One on investment, strongly including um, FDI, and of course tourism recovery will be the main drivers of the economic growth in this country going forward. Elena, meanwhile, we can already say that TBC Capital, uh, for example, has already revised the downward tourism expectations once again and sticks to the view that incoming tourism recovery in Georgia will be rapid once the restrictions are lifted. Today, by the way, is the day when um, new flights um, are being added from both Tbilisi and Kutaisi airports, and clearly the Georgian sky is more open from today than it was before. However, on the background that the virus spread accelerates and the number of countries reintroduce strict mobility restrictions, the big question now is how much time will be needed till tourists feel safe to travel again? A million dollar question, it seems, right now. Indeed. Let's see what Vizier's communication officer told our reporter exclusively, Maria Madamia, who covers the topic for us from the strategic location, Shota Rustaveli International Airport. Starting from today, Georgia is set to resume regular flights to 10 more cities. Tbilisi Shatarustaveli International Airport will add Doha, Warsaw, Athens, Amsterdam, Vienna, Berlin and Milan as renewed destinations. As for Kutaisi International Airport, flight will be resumed to Katowice, Vilnius and Dortmund. As it seems, low-cost flights will kick off from summer and the government assures that no further major lockdowns are not in sight. Low-cost air company Ryanair will not commerce flights in Georgia for the winter navigation season. Ryanair has announced big cuts to its winter flight schedule due to epidemiological conditions in the European countries. And the beyond, the company will operate at only 40% to 60% of the last year's capacity. The decision will also affect the winter navigation season in Georgia. Passengers affected by the cancelled flights were informed and alternative options had been offered, the statement reads. Rainier's decision comes with the government's statement that the resumed flights will be really regular together with the charter flights. It will be really regular. Regular flights differ from charter ones as they can be planned flexibly. The company agrees each charter flight with us. As for the regular flights, they agree once a month and fly on that schedule for the whole month. As for flight frequencies, it depends on the commercial condition of the airlines and our approaches, because we have decided to gradually open flights around the world. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We'll be landing in the airport in just a few minutes. I do not remember even a single case when the airline asked us to increase flight frequency and we restricted. Natia Turnava, the Minister of Economy and Sustainable Development, responded PMG, but despite this statement, the corporate communications manager of the Hungarian airline Vizier told us that despite their great desire, the company was not able to open a closed base in Kutaisi during the winter navigation season. Uh, winter season probably won't allow us to reopen the, the base, but we're determined to reopen it, as I said earlier, um, as, with the start of the summer season. And let's hope that we'll, be, we'll have a vaccine by then, restrictions will ease, and we'll be able to fly our uh, regular schedule from uh, IC. So, the sky of Georgia is open from today and we will keep track of how regular the flights are from end to our country. However, according to the private sector forecast, travel recovery will take some time until tourists feel safe. <laughs>